I just want to do a quick little uh, reminder for uh, myself, because I don't know about you, but I tend to uh, not be as grateful as I want to be, which my expectations for gratefulness are way up here and I'm constantly chasing them. But how easy, and I'm like saying this to myself, but if you can relate, so be it. How often do I, or do we, do you, thank God, like that's the saying, right? Thank God, like, oh man, the storm happened. Thank God my power didn't go out or walking across the street. Thank God I didn't get hit by that car. You know, um, it's easy for us to thank God for like the, um, the obvious. Then there's this whole unseen category, maybe not for everybody, but there's this whole like thing for me where I, where I tend to forget to be grateful for, or I choose not to be grateful for and like put it into action, turn gratefulness into gratitude. Um, thank God for a pipe bursting and leaking through the top floor under the floor underneath it. Because if it wasn't for that, I might not have gotten some house repairs done inconveniently as needed. You know, things happen in life and we can choose to react positive or negative. I mean, I'm not like trying to push being naive, you know, be realistic with it. Like, wow, my house burnt down, that sucks. Yeah, it does suck. But at the same time, maybe you had to rebuild your house on your own property, maybe an acre or two away from that. And two years later, a flood happens and just so happens to go over where your old house was, but your new house is above sea level. And guess what? There's no sea there. You know, just saying. Um, think positively, but don't be naive. You know, but this is my point. Thank God for water bills. Thank God for electricity bills, for heating bills, for propane tank refill bills. Thank God for car payments. Thank God for house payments. Thank God for food bills. You know, regardless on your financial standings or financial level, thank God for those bills, like those options. It's great that we have electricity bills. Wish I could almost say the same thing about taxes. Just kidding. But thank God for taxes. Like, for real. Yeah. Thank God for everything is my whole point. It's easy for us to say thank God for food that has been prepared and is hot and warm and nutritious for us. But are we able to thank God for a little when we don't have a lot? It's easy to thank God for a lot when we don't have a little. Now, there was a saying that kind of goes, if you can't be grateful for the little things that you have, for what little that you have, what makes you think that you need more? Because if you're not grateful for, for this, how are you gonna be grateful for this? In my experience, not many people are grateful for this because they want this and this and this and this. It just keeps on getting more and more. Like, I'm grateful for more. No, you're not. Be grateful for the little things. We get to breathe. You know, um, spoiled kid, not me. Yeah, I'm spoiled because I'm alive. That's me being spoiled. My parents let me live. Uh, I survived. No, they survived, right? So, when kids don't get their way, I'm gonna not limit it to kids. 
when people don't get their way, but I'm gonna pinpoint it down to like kids because I think it's a good example. <laughs> when a kid doesn't get their way, like they can't eat a chocolate bar because they haven't eaten their dinner and there's consequences to that or whatever, rules in place, structure, learning lessons. It's like, oh, you really want more? I'm letting you live right now. You're lucky I don't eat you. You know, like a bird or another animal would eat an animal, I guess, in the wild, because they're hungry. <laughs> but like, be grateful that you're alive, because each day that you wake up, that's the blessing number one. You're alive. No matter how hard it gets, you're alive. And we can always do something about it, and if we can't, I got friends in low places. And maybe they can help me. I got friends in high places. Maybe they can help me. But we can do this together no matter what. And if we can't, we can suffer through it together, which is still a solution, kind of. Anyway, count your blessings, not your bank statements. Hold on tight to the little things that make up a bigger picture. And remember, just try to be grateful. And I'm not trying to go Joel Olstein on you. You will live your best life now. You know, life's gonna be tough. It's gonna suck sometimes, it's gonna be awesome sometimes. It's a roller coaster ride, bro. You know what I mean, dude? But it really is. Um, just make sure you're strapped in for the loop-de-loops and the uh, twirls and stuff. Cause uh, overall, you might puke, you might get sick. Uh, you might get scared, but depending on how you're strapped into that ride, God, it's going to be okay. That's all I got.